It's Bourbon Night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Okay, and Sarah, that was weird. I'm sorry. It was. Uh, it was a little strange. It got all weird. I don't know. You did. I felt it, but I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to go. No. Well, I think maybe the reason it was weird, Chad, is because you said it's Bourbon Night and it's a flight fight, but we're not oh. doing a flight of bourbon. We're actually doing night. a rye. I think you're right, Sarah. I think you're right. Yeah, I am right. It's a value rye hmm. flight fight. Value rye flight fight. Okay, well, hey, let's just get into it. And Sarah, what did we put in this value rye flight fight? We have Old Forester rye at 100 proof, Rittenhouse rye bottled in bond. So, of course, that means 100 proof. Knob Creek small batch rye at, you guessed it, 100 proof. And Wild Turkey 101 rye. That's at 101 proof. So uh -huh. if, right, if you're sensing a theme here, it's value rise. So obviously price is well, we a, said that, yeah. Right, that we said. <laughs> uh, proof, roughly a hundred proof. Yeah. Right around the 101 being, you know. All of them right there except that that wild turkey rye. And then also we're, you know, well, we already said value, but value can mean difference in, in uh, price categories. These are all roughly around the same area. We start around $20 with the old Forester and the Rittenhouse. We go up to technically 37, 38 technically. with the wild turkey, but that's a liter. So if you price adjusted for quantity, it would technically be $27. There we go. Which is also the price of, of the, the Knob, Knob Creek. Creek. I okay. mean, for us, we can't speak for you because we don't know where you are, but I these are pretty that. readily available. We can mm -hmm. find these easily if we go looking. So. Yeah, that wild turkey 101 can get a little tricky, but that's probably the trickiest one. It's been showing up in our area pretty regularly. Well, Sarah. First flight flight of 2021, let's get right into it. Let's get rye into it. Ah, with bourbon A. No, rye A, rye A. Ooh, it's got like a candied cinnamon, sugar. This just smells like a bourbon to me. Butter. It is, it is very bourbon-y yeah. for a rye, but I do get those little flares of spice in there. For sure. It just smells like a high rye bourbon, which some of these essentially are with the 51% Rye. They're bare, what we call barely legal rye. Barely rise. legal rye. Now, not not all of them. I think the Knob Creek is the one that's like a question mark just because that's Knob Creek in general. Sure, there's speculations out there. Sure. But yeah, these are all pretty much barely legal. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet. Um, I get like a lot of candy. Candy sug sugary sweetness. Oh. Oh, sweet. Little zip. Little zip of spice. Ooh. T it tingles the tongue. It is sweet. Man, that's candy. I mean, it tastes good, but it's sweet. And a little bitter, maybe like some tea. Mm, okay. Unsweetened. Unsweetened black, tea. Black tea. Yeah, yeah, black tea. Easy. I mean, it does kind of build a little bit with the heat and yeah. the spice. Front of the tongue. Approachable. Mm hmm. Chill. Yeah. I'd drink it. I could put this in a cocktail. Sure. I could drink this neat. It's a little sweet, but. It is. Nutty. Come on. <laughs> and a little bit of like red hots, hot tamales. Yeah. Um, cinnamon candy. Yes. Yes. This smells like Jim Beam. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe. Or like. Could be. I need to. I need to know. Is the other two sometimes Heaven Hill's been getting a little bit nutty uh, with their malted yeah, 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 um, yeah. notes? It gets just a little bit. Sometimes that throws me off. True. I, this kind of maybe reminds me more of like an old Granddad product, like mm. that high rye, still Jim Beam. Mm -hmm. You know, this being low rye for rye. I hear that. I don't know. Well, let's just dive in. Ooh, that's Ooh. pretty good mouthfeel right off the bat. Yeah. Kinda oh, that's got some smooth. depth to it. Yeah. I would be surprised if that's not the Knob Creek. Yeah. It just has that signature <laughs> Jim Beam, like Knob Creek specifically, like depth, that mm -hmm. dark, rich power of of Knob Creek. I don't know. <laughs> the power of Knob Creek. I feel like I'm you drawing a comic book character. The power of Knob Creek. <gasps> Someone should do that. Ooh, Captain Creek? <laughs> Captain Nutty. No, it tails into like a, a peanut butter, almond mm -hmm. butter mm -hmm. type of finish. I'm with you on the almond. Pretty creamy. Yeah. Ooh, nuttier on the second time around. Not as much rye spice mm -mm. as, but it's still there. It's just pretty mellow. Well, we are halfway through round A, so we would just like to do a real quick, if you haven't subscribed to us already, uh, we'd love to have you come on over for things like this and uncorkings and what's nots. It's 2021. If you haven't subscribed already, this is your year. Yeah, and we believe in you. If this isn't the content you want, then tell us in the comments what is the content that you want to see. We'll and do it. Well, that's not we'll, a commitment. No. Okay. We will read it and consider. Mm. No, this is kind of like in the middle of A and B. Still sweet. Still kind of noses like a high rye bourbon. I'm getting almost a little bit of citrus but, or yeah, even like melon, more like of that a pop. really fresh, un, almost an underripe melon. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I'm almost getting like a little astringent, but not quite. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say nutty because I was getting a no. little bit of nutty. Something in here, it almost smells like soap. Hey, hey. No soap on the palate. No. That's, well, uh, it's kind of twisting. The initial palate was like, I'm kind of serious. Uh -huh. You know, I'm so far than these other guys. I'm, I'm more... Uh, Badass or whatever. Really? Whatever you want to say. Oh, I find it hard to think that um, one of these could be more badass than B. <laughs> um, it's possible, I guess. And it, wow, when I'm talking and getting air over the tongue, it's started starting to sting just a a wee bit, wee bit. Stings the nostrils. Stings the nostrils. Yeah. The finish kind of started to, to tank there, but we'll leave it to sip number two. I get like a little bit of a musty, nutty. Just a tiny bit mm. on the palate. Allspice or clove, but pretty tame. I'm really- I think it might be the spiciest of the three so I, far. Yeah, that's kind of like the badassness. The badassness, the badassness that yeah. you were talking about. That wryness. <laughs> um, sorry, I've been watching Cobra Kai a lot, and so just badass, badass. is just ingrained in the memory. But uh, hash brown it, send it to the hash, internet. Hash brown it, send it to the internet. The palate I'm really liking. The mid and then the finish is going a little south in a way that I, I wish it kind of wasn't. I wish it was kind of keeping with what it's bringing on the palate, but otherwise. It gets a little thin towards the back three quarters. Yeah. Not maybe, three quarters, sorry, back a, third. All righty then, with rye D. Oh, this is Ooh, sort of like a boozy, mm, chocolate covered caramel thing going on. I can't decide, is it breakfast or is it dessert? It's it's one of those two, it's like a sweet dessert or, I or a being sweet like the breakfast bread. or a. Yeah, I think it's the bourbon bread pudding caramel sauce. Aha. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting caramely and uh -huh. honestly, I'm having trouble getting much else. It's it, there's a spiciness in there, but I don't know what it's gonna taste like off the nose. And to be honest with you, vanilla, but like vanilla extract. extract. Yeah. You want me a Coke? You want me a bourbon? I don't. Okay, I think I can find some. <laughs> there's some laying around. Oh, that's different than I was expecting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, that's sweet. Oh, I still think if you ask me of all of these, which one's the sweetest? I would say A. Well, we'll find out on round two, won't we? We will. But man, that's missing you like candy. Mandy Moore, late 90s sweet. I don't think it's that sweet. I think it's kind of got like a peppery note in there and caramel. I'm just scratching my head like, what is this? Oh. Like fermented peaches or something? I don't know. Yeah, there's like, like boozy, syrupy, boozy yeah. peaches. Peaches from a can. They were put there by a man. And I, someone please start <laughs> keeping tabs of how many times that I, I vote that once Chad uses a reference five times, it's officially retired? striked, worn out, retired. Can we have like a jersey raising ceremony? And on the jersey it'll say, peaches okay. come from a can. They're put there by a man in a factory downtown. And then we just raise it up to the record. Now you're officially over the count. No, this counts as, as an episode. It's got to be five episodes. Oh, Lord. Well, I don't know what, what I've been keeping count of, and that's that we've gone through round one. We're going to take a break and cover these up. We're going to go let our uh, tongues come back down to room temperature. But while we wait, it's the perfect time to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for our T-shirts like this one, our hoodies like this one, the Glencairns that we're drinking from, the water glasses that we're drinking from, rocks glasses, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash and join our community and conversation for as little as one buck a month. And we do after the episode exclusive just for patrons along with first crack at barrel picks. Mm. That's fun. And yep. lots of other stuff. So you should join. All right. Um, we're going to go away and we will see you back here in a little bit. See you soon. And we're back. Welcome back. All right. Time to go through this one more time. As we've always said, second round is where things become more evident. There's, the answers reveal themselves. Now, I've definitely said that in more than five episodes. So sugary sweetness. Very, oh, I know what this is. Very. I figured it out. Solved. But, the second but, nose, I know what it is. Point. It reveals itself. I can't help it. Well, that's different now. Much more tea. You tea. get that tea? Yeah. Tea, orange, burnt marshmallow. Citrus, yeah. Brown sugar. Uh-huh. Little cherry. Uh-huh. Um, Very sweet. But it would be good, really good in a cocktail, I think. Depending on the cocktail, I think you'd be right. Yeah. I think it was, this would be really good in like our southern old fashioned. Mm, okay. I'm missing a little bit more flair from the rye, and I'm also missing a strong finish. I feel like it's very just easy, mellow all the way yeah. through, sweet. I, I want more rye from my rye, the, the, you know? Yes, I hear you. And the thing that uh, can make a, a barely legal rye not for us is when you're missing both. You're either missing that winter mint, spearmint, uh, foliage mm -hmm. type of flavor, or you're missing the 
classic caramel and vanilla of, of, a, of a bourbon and those bourbon flavors, it's just sort of bastardized in the middle of nothing. And it kind of tastes like, I mean, it's its, own, it's its own thing, yeah. but it doesn't taste like a high rye. It doesn't taste like a bourbon. It's just kind of yeah. stuck in the middle. I guess, yeah. And with this, I'm sort of getting like an artificial flavor like a Jolly Rancher. I feel like it doesn't quite know what it wants to be. Ah, it's very confused. It's it needs to go confusing. to college, experiment, yeah. backpack around Europe, and then come back and after it's figured itself out. Sure. Nutty, 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 it's the nutties. Film in front of a live studio audience. I would watch that. <laughs> so nutty. Again, a little bit of the cinnamon red hot. Yeah, nutty and sugar sweet. Sugar sweet. Um, little candy. Yeah. Little honey, maybe. I mean, it's that silkiness that kind of smelling. Sweet tea, honey and lemon, sugar, almond butter, and a little kick. I don't think I'm with you as much on the tea, honey, lemon thing with this one. All right, fair enough. Um, There's no wrong answers in whiskey. But I am with you on the almond butter. <clears throat> nuttiness and again just like a little bit of cinnamon but almost in like a big red gum or a and if you don't chew big red gum you know what to do mm -hmm. i like the rich dark yummy parts of this it feels more like a bourbon as well <laughs> here's a question right in the middle of the second round to throw you for a loop are we picking just our favorite of these four taste taste alone mm -hmm. just favorite yeah or are we picking our favorite based on the quality of rye because if you're choosing a rye there could be uh, an argument could be made that you are choosing a rye because you sure. want rye flavors i think as we always have to do sarah we always choose on what we enjoy the most in these flight fights yes i hear what you're saying but if i bought a rye hoping to enjoy a rye and it didn't taste like rye well that might be an issue sure it's sort of the pizza equation pizza what's your favorite pizza before you answer, you have to ask back, are we talking deep dish or New York style? Oh, what about thin crust? You've totally forgotten about thin well, crust. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't like thin crust. With rye, it's like, what's your favorite rye? Okay, we talking barely legal. We talking 95.5 to 100% rye. That's like, a good point. And then what, what price range about? are we talking about? If someone's like, what's your favorite rye, but I don't like super minty and, and peppery, then I'm like, well, that's different now too. Right. So. So <sighs> since these are all on the barely legal to around barely legal area. We are accepting that they're going to taste more like bourbons. Yeah, so I think we just have to pick what we are liking the best out of these four. And, and I think your values are always going to usually be more around the barely legal because rye is a more expensive grain. Sure, okay, I accept. All right. We will do that and on to Ricey take two. Ricey. I, was... I like this nose. <laughs> I can't agree with you. Really? I'm still getting a really like, almost like pine saw. Citrus and cleaner or soap. Um, okay, big deep breath. I can see where that's coming from, but I think I this get over it. smells more just like a bourbon, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know if you know it or not, but I, I, I kind of like bourbon. Yeah, I'm a little hung up on that. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see how they do in the side by side. The nose is my least favorite part. Everything else I'm fine with, that description does not equal the taste. Yeah, I'm glad that doesn't carry over into the palate. It's um, it's also got that citrus in there, like A, but I think toned down to a reasonable level. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste synthetic of, mm -hmm. the, uh, of citrus. We're filming this during rye months. So we've been having a lot of ryes, a lot of 95.5, 100% ryes, Canadian ryes, all over the place. And this just doesn't taste like yeah. a rye. It tastes like a barely legal rye, sure. But it's almost like you're judging it as a bourbon and just flavor itself, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Oh, now it's Still even more... Still more caramel yeah. chocolate, a little bit of... A little savory zip, this time. A little savory, yeah. yes. Oh, like candied bacon or, or something. It's just so... I'm still getting like... Before round okay. A, I was like, is it breakfast, is it dessert? I think it's a very sweet breakfast item. So we were doing a live recently and you described a yeast donut that had a caramel oh. brown sugar frosting. Yes. With, I don't know if you said bacon on top or not, but uh, this is that donut yeah, with the uh, bacon uh, on the top. Eventually I got there, yes. 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 I feel that way yeah. about the nose on this one. Yeah, caramel. Now I want pizza and a donut. Caramel. Bacon, donut. Damn, this smells good. Golly. When you're hungry. Now I'm hungry. And it kind of tastes that way too. Yeah. I mean, not as on the nose as the nose, but. I still get that caramely brown sugar frosting. Yeah. With something that's savory, 
pepper. I think I said that last round. Pe yeah, something that's pepper. peppered. Yeah, crushed Just black pepper. Cracked pepper. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, it's sweet, but it's not like over the top. I don't think it's as sweet as A. And again, I think Agreed. as Rye A. And I think I said that last time. Mm -hmm. I think the pepper is what's setting that apart from this. It's like balancing the sweetness of that like brown sugar caramel frosting. I agree. Okay, well, we've gone through two rounds here and we've discovered a lot of things, but now it's time for us to A-B test these back and forth. Now we try the things that weren't back to back, back to back. So this is the part where we'll, we'll uh, That rye's working. <laughs> so this is the part where we will leave you. We'll be back at results time. All right, Sarah, you know what time it is. It's results time. This uh, medium, medium difficulty. That's where I would rate it. Medium. Medium. Not the hardest, because so many times you're like, this was the hardest damn thing we've ever had to do in sure. our lives. It wasn't. Okay, so I had the hardest time choosing between first and second, and then separately, third and fourth. But I will say that I enjoyed all of these. Yes. All right. What did you put in last place, Sarah? In last place, I put rye C, and Jazz again, I didn't dislike it. Wait, what? You put rye C in last place? I put rye C in last place, and again, I did not dislike it. I just put it in last. I did not put rye C in last place. Did you put rye A in I last did. place? Okay, well, that's my third place, so this is where we flip-flopped. All right, Sarah's last place, rye C, is... Wild Turkey 101. Oh, no. Sarah, no. Okay. Well, my last place was Rye A. Last place for Chad, Rye A is... Old Forester. So your third place... Is Old Forester. My third place, Wild Turkey 101. And you know, big Wild Turkey fan here and here. I like Wild Turkey too. I said I didn't dislike it. I just... What, what, we've, what we've never really done with Wild Turkey 101 Rye is drink it neat. We always put it in cocktails. 101 Rye, yes. It yeah. is so... It's like one of my favorite things to use in a cocktail because I feel like it really punches through. We just don't drink it neat. We never, don't. never really have. And third, last, it kind of shows. Yeah, I'd rather have Wild Turkey 101 totally. regular. Totally. All right. Would you put in second place? In second place, I put Rye B. So did I. So that means we have the same first place. Which is Rye D. D. And this revealed itself in the taste, the back to back tasting. Yeah, the back to back Because taste. when we left the second round, I thought, I'm going to pick Rye B. After enough back and forth, I was like, wait. Yeah, when you put, because we didn't have B and D back, back to, to back, back, obviously. Yeah. Because they're P and D. But when we started doing that A-B testing, yes, that's when it kind of yeah. revealed itself. Like there was a little something they were really good. special about right. Rye D. Let's reveal our first place Let's so do you'll it. know what our second place is. Uh, in first place, the best It's Bourbon Night Flight Fight Value Rye Around 100 Proof is... There's a bug. <laughs> okay. Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse Rye. You got that in Shocker. Stereo. We picked nope. Pike's Fool's baby brother. It actually is a shocker Honestly, for me, I Sarah, because between Rittenhouse and Pikesville, I've always opted for, for Pikesville, Pikesville for that extra price, extra $30. I'm always like, no, just give me Pikesville. And if you had asked me and walk up to me in the aisle at the liquor store and said, should I get Knob Creek Rye or should I get Rittenhouse Rye? I would be like, Knob Creek, spend Up until the extra now, seven I'd bucks. Be like, just get, just get the Knob Creek, spend a little bit more money, get the Knob Creek. You're, gonna, you're not going to regret it. Agreed. Um, I still really like the Knob Creek. It was a tough call for me, yeah. but for cheaper and I liked it a hair better, I'm going to go with the Rittenhouse from now on. And here's the thing, Yikes. much like the Wild Turkey 101 rye, I had kind of put the Rittenhouse rye in that same box. It's not for drinking neat. It's for cocktails, lower proof cocktails. I'd rather go that little extra 101 or maybe some OGD 114, let's be honest. Yep. Ooh. But here we are in a flight fight in Rittenhouse, a $20 bottle and bonds, you know, Heaven Hill product has come in first place for us. I am surprised. Who would have thunk it? I am honestly surprised. Yeah. Yeah, my money would have been on the Wild Turkey 101 or the Knob Creek. I was probably, probably the predicting Knob the Knob Creek, I which came in second place. I was pretty much all in on the Knob Creek. I mean, B is Knob Creek, yep. But especially considering how well just Knob Creek Small Batch did in our um, Best Under 50. Yeah. Like, there's a lot to consider. Um, but 60, yeah. 
Blind flights, changing perceptions. That's why we do things blind. Okay. Here we are now, just a little bit more enlightened because of it. I'm a little smarter. And happier for it, you know? All right, well, hey, this is, uh, this is where we're gonna leave it. This um, will be. If you haven't subscribed to us already, we said that earlier before, but now you have a chance to click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more rye.